Right, the King George V handicap over 12 furlongs, 0 to 70 handicap in the league. One is National Guard Obi Wan, two Starlight Alex Cherry, three Snow Martin Craig Beckwith, four Ballerina Queen Martin Edom, five Marie Antoinette Kevin Minigan, six is Eternity Crystal Graham Talibak, seven is Indigo Blue Alex Cherry, and eight is Orchestra Obi Wan. Eight horses in the King George V handicap over 12 furlongs in the Heavy Grounded Ascot. And uh, definitely going to affect some horses chances and away they go slow jump by orchestra and maybe that was by design to overcome their wide draw and orchestra has moved on to the rail so ballerina queen goes to the front for martin needham snow martin out wide of marie antoinette then comes eternity crystal for graham clatterbuck the two alex cherry horses together indigo blue and starlight on the rail is the gray horse national guard for obi-1 and at the back of the field the second obi-1 horse oak orchestra about five lengths off the martin needham horse the gray horse martin needham's ballerina queen needs him from another gray in second national guard for obi-1 wide of that a uh, starlight for Alex Cherry traveling uh, widest of all snow Martin for Craig Beckwith in between horses just behind those is Indigo Blue for Alex Cherry then comes Mar um, Graham Clutterbuck's Eternity Crystal in his new colors Marie Antoinette on that one's outside and the back of the field we have Orchestra for Obi-Wan so six lands first to last Ballerina Queen takes him along for Martin Eden who's having a fine ascot and a lot of winners already from National Guard in second Starlight on that one's outside in between horses Indigo Blue for Alex Cherry with those orange sleeves and orange cap distinctive colours of Alex Cherry then comes uh, Snow Martin for Craig Beckwith uh, Mar Graham Tannenberg's horse is moving closer Eternity Crystal travelling well just behind that then comes Marie Antoinette for Kevin Midigan who was very unlucky with Hope Springs early on today Orchestra just behind that for Obi Wan. So, Ballerina Queen, a comfortable leader for Martin Needham from National Guard in second. In between horses moving closer as Indigo Blue for Alex Cherry. Out wide, Eternity Crystal still creeping closer for Graham Clutterbuck, and now Eternity Crystal is being pushed along to try and prove with Starlight, who's moving forward strongly for Alex Cherry. Still the leader though, Ballerina Queen from the back of the field, Snow Martin is trying to run on. It's Ballerina Queen from Starlight in second. National Guard is on the rail. Eternity Crystal traveling well just behind that. Then comes um, Snow Snow Martin and Indigo Blues followed by Marie Antoinette and Orchestra is out of it at the back of the field. It's Ballerina and Queen in front and extending for Martin Needham with two furlongs to go. Ballerina Queen still clear from National Guard. Snow Martin on the outside. Eternity Crystal. Now the jockey asks for the effort from Eternity Crystal on that one's inside his star line. We've got a furlong and a half to go. It's still Ballerina Queen but he's starting to get wary and here comes National Guard and Eternity Crystal. National Guard coming to pick up uh, still Ballerina Queen as National Guard now picks up Ballerina Queen. Ballerina Queen still fighting back National Guard Eternity Crystal out wide Ballerina Queen Eternity Crystal on the outside Ballerina Queen still holding on Eternity Crystal flying out wide as Marie Antoinette but Eternity Crystal gets up to beat Ballerina Queen and Marie Antoinette flying late for Kevin Meanigan as they get up to the line I think Eternity Crystal got there Eternity Crystal wins for Graham Clutterbuck, wins the King George V handicap from Ballerina Queen in second. Marie Antoinette was flying late, but had too much to do. Finished back in third. National Guard, Obi Wan, looked like challenging for the lead, but I think the weight told in this heavy ground, carrying 10 stone National Guard. Starlet was back in fifth for Alex Cherry, but to Graham Clutterbuck's Eternity Crystal, off the featherweight, wins the King George V handicap.